Hello, um, I want to talk about question 11 on our first assignment. Uh, it just involves the distance formula, but as it turns out, the distance formula calculator that I uh, created for you will not produce what's called exact answers with simplified radicals. So we have these two points, 0, negative 5, and 3, 5, and if you use my decimals template and type those in, what was it, 0, negative 5, and 3, 5. Uh, notice you get an answer of 10.44, which is an estimate of the correct answer, but it's rounded off to, I don't know, nine decimal places or so. Our question is expecting an exact simplified radical answer. So what I've done is I've uh, put a link in for you to use uh, this radical calculator. And um, if you go to that link, you can enter the same uh, expression and it'll give you the simplified radical answer. That way, uh, if you're not sure how to do that um, and want to check your answer, you can do that. So you go to where it says enter the problem and you hit the radical symbol. And then for the distance formula, we subtract the x's first. So that would be uh, 3 minus 1. I can't, of course, I can't remember what the numbers were, so let me go check. Uh, 3 minus 0. I do the second x, 3, minus the first x, 0. And then I square that uh, quantity. So you can type in squared there. Just use your caret to do that. And then you add on the difference of the y's. And our y values were 5 minus negative 5. So I type in 5 minus negative 5. Typically, oops, I didn't type a 5 there. 5 minus, when I enter a negative number into a calculator or a computer like this, I always put it in parentheses. Uh, and then that quantity we're going to square. Okay, So I've got it typed out the same way it looked in my distance formula. Let me show you that, right? Uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared with those numbers. And when I hit go, it's going to give me the simplified radical form, which is the square root of 109, which is about 10 point something. So if I go here now and enter my answer, I'll put in the square root symbol and then 109, and I'll hit submit, and I got it right. Yay! So if you're running into trouble with entering decimals in on this question, that's why. It's expecting a simplified radical answer, and you can see it says that there. Um, but I, did, I sort of misled you because I, um, my calculator only did the decimals, and that was unintentional. Um, so if you need a simplified radical answer, please use the radical simplifying calculator that I'll link uh, right on the uh, My Open Math page, and I'll also put this on Canvas. Okay, I hope that helps, and if you have other questions, keep them coming. Take care.